Welcome back guys to another episode of Ethan and Ella. This week we found a video that was pretty wild, pretty weird and wild stuff. Many of you may have seen it. Twins who are truly and fully identical. And this is about these identical twins, these two ladies who, well, it's hard to describe. They so put us back together, together and they said sorry. Why are you, you looking, looking why are you like looking, looking into my- We are just completely down. Different. Yeah, down. If you guys don't know what's <laughs> happening, if you guys don't know why Ela's doing that, you will once we start watching this video. That was terrifying, Ela. Stop. <laughs> Twins Paula and Bridget Powers yeah. live on Queensland's Sunshine Coast. Well, I love going fast. fast. Do you? Yes, I love going fast. Who the fuck even says that? I love I going know. fast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hey, do you like going fast, sister? <laughs> yes, sister, I love going fast. Love it. I love going fast. fast. Do you? Yes, I love going fast. They're 32 and they've hardly ever been apart. There's just one time when they were 17. Only when one of us were in hospital getting our appendix out. But Bridget used to come in every visiting hours when I could. But if I was allowed to sleep there, I would have. Okay, this is straight out of a horror film. <laughs> this is straight, these are like the twins from Shining, grown up. Oh God. <laughs> I love going fast. fast, do you? Yes, I love going fast. The twins share a medical history like everything else. You feel like there's something missing when mm -hmm. you're apart? Yes. And it's hard to describe that feeling. feeling. But they got this like little girl haircut. And yeah, yeah. They like to be a little girl. They're a little like. girly. They've got a weird <laughs> thing going on. What the first thing I thought, which I'm sure crossed many of your minds, do they fuck? Do they fuck each other? I think you're too early because too there early. Is Am I too early? Okay, or, let's let's yeah. wait and watch. <laughs> is it difficult for you to operate normally when you're apart? Yeah, yeah like it is, yeah. like because we don't think, think properly, properly or, and and we're not ourselves. Mm. We just feel down. Different. Yeah, down. So I mean, my initial reaction is that they <laughs> they have a, a honest to god mental problem. I guess. They have Why? some really weird, rare shit going on. It's weird that they're trying to make it seem like they talk together. Because it seems like when kids do it to annoy each other. Yeah, but they somehow just kept it going. I feel like they've been doing this for so long. They just, they started to depend on it. It's Maybe. a really bizarre, it's very bizarre stuff here, guys. Yeah. And I'm not saying it yet, but they fuck each other. These <laughs> girls fuck each other. Let's continue. Got a nice full belly now, Cameron. As children, they resisted efforts to prise them apart. Um, apparently when we were little, mum did separate us as when we were little toddlers. One stayed at Nan's place and one stayed at uh, our auntie's. And we just, just non-stop screaming. Mm. And, th and that's when we were little babies, babies. non-stop screaming. And do, you ever, do you wonder which one's like the alpha? <clears throat> you know there's a little power dynamic going on. I think the girl on the left. You think she's the powerful one? Mm. Mm. She's the ringleader? The girl leader. who does the mm. Mm. That <laughs> mm holds it all down. That's interesting. I'm going to focus on that. Because mm. you know one of them calls the shot and was like, I need you <laughs> to kill Bob. Mm. <laughs> or whatever. And she'd be like, I'm going to kill Bob. Are you, why do you think they already killed someone? Come on, these people are murderers. These girls have killed many men. <laughs> they fuck together, they kill together, and they like going fast. And they talk together. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I love going fast. fast. Do you? Yes, I love going fast. Mm. In primary school, we were sitting at the same, same table. table. And they accused Jesus us of, of cheating because they th thought we were looking at one another and saying doing this and doing, this and doing, doing that. that and but doing no the same way. Questions no, we rather die than, than cheat. I feel like they're not even doing a good job. Like when no. we were doing it, we did it better. They're, like say something and I'm going to try to mimic. They're totally, they're totally not, even not even getting, even it, getting right. it right. <laughs> a little late. A little late. <laughs> So, so anyway, anyway I, I was, was just, just going to gra grandma's house to have a sandwich. <laughs> mm. Mm. Dude, you are not the leader, okay? <laughs> Do not be pulling the mm's on me. I am not going to give you alpha control, Ewa. 
Have you ever had boyfriends? No, no. 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 But we've got each other's Tuss company. company. Mm. Each other's company. Oh, that is, yeah. Red flag <laughs> on the field, guys. Touchdown or whatever. But we've got each other's Tuss company. company. Mm. There's been men out there that have looked at the girls. I had one man approach me um, many years ago and he said, oh, I love them. And I said, well, you can't love both of them. You know, so, and he knew, well, he'd have to step away. Yeah. Yeah, so. Why you got a cock block, Mom? <laughs> you know that's what it's all about. <laughs> and he knew, well. Just let it happen. Mom? And he knew what? what? He'd have to step away. He'd have to oh. step away because he couldn't fuck both of them. She said, you gotta, if you want to fuck, you got to fuck one at a time. Well, if he wants to and they want to. But I it guess seems, they can do well, they're, they're still living in mom's house, so I get the feeling she's cock blocking her daughters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a shame. Moms. Moms. <laughs> Paula and Bridget, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Have you always talked in unison like that? Yes, yes we, we do. do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Ever since you were tiny. Yes. Yes, we did have our own twin, twin language, language though, though, when we were little. little. And our mum and dad and our brothers and sisters, sisters didn't know what we were, we were talking about. about or saying. I can't understand what they're saying. You guys are failing. <laughs> Work on working. your shit. It just sounds like two people <laughs> trying to talk at the same time. <laughs> I mean, I, we're better at it. Yeah, if, if, if me if and Ela tried, tried that, that, we would be we'd way, way better at it. it. Well, that was a weird one. I would say, uh, look, I, I'm pretty sure they have some kind of mental illness. Because that is just I not guess. normal. Or some weird fetish. It, you think it, but you, it's a fetish slash, it, it, something's wrong there. Something went wrong. <laughs> but they definitely fuck. And they've definitely cut off couple, several penises. They're buried in that yard somewhere, I'm sure of it. I don't know about that. That is not 100% <laughs> guaranteed or certain or known, but I'm just saying, you know what, <laughs> the truth is out there. Yeah. So, without further Good ado, deal. guys, thank you, thank so, you so much, much for watching, watching Ethan and Neela. We, we love, love you so, so much. much. We, we appreciate, appreciate you. And, and we we'll will most definitely <laughs> be seeing you next, <laughs> next time. time. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> okay, Eli, you know what? You fucked that up. Okay, <laughs> you gotta work on your mimic. I know. I it's tried. It's embarrassing. I tried. We're trying to sell this shit like we're fucking like real twins. How are we gonna make it on the news if you can't mimic me? Okay. So you're humiliating, Eli. You're humiliating me for the last time, dude. But we've got each other's company. Mm. Mm. Um, hi, Hugh and Jackie. I love your program. It makes gives me so much faith and something about the Egyptian hijacking, a small prayer. His uh, name is Ethan uh, Bradbury. I agree with you about how the news is always so terrible, but as my mother once told me in these situations, you have to look for the people who are helping, no matter how bad the situation, you will always find people who are helping. Mm. I run a social experiment in which uh, I post Craigslist advert and show people what uh, could go wrong. It always gets good reactions, but it's never gone wrong, and we are thankful for this.